Hey, what's up guys? It's Online Money 24-7 and today we're going to be talking about the top three recession proof stocks. So these are three stocks that are going to be recession proof just in case we do end up going into that moving into 2018. While it is not necessarily going to happen, it is possible. It's always good to have a little bit of your portfolio, a little bit more conservative. And these are those three recession proof stocks that we're going to be looking at today. So as an introduction, like I said, it's not necessarily true that it will go, that we will go into a recession in 2018, but the last recession was in 2008, about 10 years ago ago now almost that we went into a recession and these kind of boom and bust cycles typically happen within the economy so it is very common to see this you know every 10 years or maybe less than 10 years it's been a long time and that we've been in a bull market for about nine years in the stock market so it is very probable that we could have one this year but for all we know we might not we might have another great year you know people said 2017 was going to be a crash year and look at 2017 it's been a great year overall uh, so it's very hard to say that it could be um, something in 2018, but you just don't know. We'll have to see, but in, you know, might as well be prepared and have a little bit of your portfolio a little bit more secure and into those recession-proof stocks. So what are those recession-proof stocks that we're looking at today? Number one is going to be Walmart. So Walmart, WMT. It is a, a grocery company, a also a product company. So they sell uh, physical products in stores, and they also have been killing it online with selling. They're definitely one of the biggest competitors to Amazon, not only for the fact that that Walmart has been able to keep up with Amazon, at least, not all the way as much as Amazon, but Walmart does keep up at least within the e-commerce space, and they have moved a lot of products online and are able to sell a lot of products online on their website as well as they just dominate the grocery market and the products market in terms of, you know, where can you go to the store nearby and pick up some product? And Walmart is definitely going to be that place to go to. And so they have been killing it for many, many, many years. And uh, today we're going to be looking at the maximum stock charts for all of these different stocks because I wanted to show you guys what the stock did in around the 2008 period as well when there was a crash to show you how it handled a previous crash and not saying that that's how a potential future crash would be handled as well, but it's showing that the stock has some strength and stability that it's not going to just dive out of nowhere. And, you know, not to say that any of these stocks could maybe have a big issue. Um, it's just that these stocks have proven time and time again to be very big secure stocks, very big blue chip companies that are not really going anywhere and are also things that people need. You know, Walmart, even in a recession, people are still going to need groceries. People are still going to need all of those kind of basic things that Walmart, Walmart sells a lot of. So if you look at the 2008 chart right there in between the 2005 to 2010 period, as you can see, there was definitely a little dip down before the rise up. But, you know, Walmart's been a very steady stock and they've done well in the past year, really well, actually, in the past year, up to, you know, almost $100 now with their stock. And they had a dip back in 2015 from the Amazon spike uh, that happened back then. But Walmart has still proven time and time again to be very secure and a long term stock for an option for you guys today. So moving into number two, the second stock on the list is Johnson Johnson. So J&J, &J. this company has been around for years upon years. They sell baby products. So, and not only just baby products, they also sell like Tylenol, they sell Benadryl, all of these different medicine aisles, Listerine, you know, Band-Aids, like things that people will need no matter what type of economy we're in. People, if they, they scrape their arm, they're still gonna need a Band-Aid to put on it. So it's definitely not an extra thing and something that is a necessity for many people and the stock has done incredibly well over the long haul i mean even in 2008 it definitely had a dip down during that period but nothing catastrophic and johnson johnson proven time and time again to be a very long steady slow growth stock they have you know been around for years upon years upon years and are just a very secure stock that you could get yourself involved with. Definitely something good for your portfolio if you need a little bit extra strength and definitely a recession-proof stock. So moving into number three, it is McDonald's. So McDonald's, obviously you guys know they sell food. Uh, my favorite's the McChicken. And so they have been around for a very long time as well, and they are a food company. I mean, come on, everybody needs to eat, especially if uh, we're in a recession, the dollar menu increasingly, increasingly more popular, and McDonald's is actually bringing back their dollar menu as of 2018, so that's going to be a really nice introduction into 
um, you know, making more and more affordable options. I mean, McDonald's is already really cheap for people that want to get food on the go, but it's going to be even cheaper with the reintroduction of their dollar menu. So, you know, McDonald's has proven time and time again over many years, even during the 2008 dip, that it was able to sur- survive that very well and just move forward in growth. And it's very similar to the other two stocks. I mean, all these stocks are things, these are businesses that people will need regardless of the economy and very secure companies that you can get yourself involved with to have a nice backing in your portfolio. And at the end of the day, the bottom line for this is that, you know, all these are consumer staple stocks. These are things that people are going to need regardless. So, you know, that next new iPhone, if we're in a recession, people aren't necessarily going to be wanting to buy the next iPhone. So Apple's not exactly the greatest choice to be recession proof because if people aren't, don't have extra money to, for those uh, discretionary items there, you know, Apple might tank a little bit because they're not selling as much product. Whereas, you know, something like Walmart, McDonald's, or a Johnson Johnson, they're still going to be selling, maybe not as much, but they're still going to be selling their food, those products that people need to live Uh, So those are definitely some staples and regardless of the market, you know, people need these goods That's the bottom line with all these so guys if you are looking for an app to get yourself started in the stock market I do recommend Robinhood. It's a free stock trading app and there's no commissions on trades when you get started If you want to support the channel, there is a link down in the description box below I think you get a free stock as well So if you want to support the channel click the link below sign up with Robinhood. I use them. I love it Uh, It's free stock trading. Couldn't get any better than that. So if you want to subscribe to the channel as well, you know, be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you haven't, what the heck are you doing? So you can get notified for future videos, uploads, and all of that good stuff. Leave a like. Comment down below if you have any questions, comments, concerns. But anyway, guys, that's all for today's video. So I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.